Welcome to this video. Today, I'll share with you the eight things that I did that helped me pass my first academic year cum laude. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more study tips and vlogs. So the first and probably most important thing to do is make a solid plan on how to manage time for your exams. So what I personally like to do is make an overview of all the materials that I need to cover for my exam. Most of the time I do this using a Google Sheet. For this I'll show you my basic setup. So first I type a header, so I know for which course this overview is. Then I write down all the items that I need to study. So for example chapters 1 through 5 and 3 additional research papers. In the next column I write down how many pages each of the items is. Afterwards I let Google Sheets do the magic. So I end up with a percentage of the pages that I have already finished. I highlight these three cells so that a quick look is enough to know what my progression is at that point. Even though this way of making a plan is very simple, I found it to be highly effective. It is straightforward and after every study session I feel a sense of accomplishment because my percentage of pages that I have summarized or studied has gone up. A schedule doesn't have to be fancy, rather it needs to be functional. An additional resource that I like to use is the app Exams. In this app you can put the date of your exam. It will then show you a countdown till the exam date. I use this to determine how much I need to study or summarize during the week, to finish at least one week before the exam. Let's now focus on note taking. So when studying for an exam, I like to write summaries or make flashcards. I don't really have a set way of writing summaries, it's actually dependent on the course material that I need to study. Let me go over some examples of summaries I've written over the last few years. First up are these very plain physics notes. I needed these to be clean and straight to the point, hence the very calming look. They look boring in comparison to my pathology notes. For this course, I needed to study a lot of illnesses with images, and it was important that key information was highly visible. So for this summary, I highlighted and added pictures. Next up are these last minute notes I took the evening before my biology exam. I like to write simple notes of things I still need to memorize in black, underline in red, and highlight in yellow. This is also the color scheme I apply when studying. I'll show you some more summaries to give you a good idea of the range of different styles that I use. Of course, just writing a summary is not going to be sufficient to pass a course. So it is important to also study using your summary, notes or flashcards. In practice, I use three main study techniques. The first one is blurting. What I do is I go over to my whiteboard and write down lists of things that I still need to memorize. I then check to see whether I miss items in this list. I sometimes use my whiteboard to make mind maps, and these allow me to try and build bridges between different parts of the content. It also lets me make connections, further helping my understanding. Next, I like to incorporate spaced repetition. So for each exam, I try to finish my summary at least a week before the exam. Then I take five days to study for the exam. The last two days before the exam are usually spent just going through material once more to finalize the study process. The last technique I use quite often is giving a fake presentation. This method really allows me to formulate my knowledge in my own words, which is obviously what you need to do when answering a question on your exam as well. It also gives me great insight into what parts are not going as smoothly. I just put a stuffed animal on the side of my bed and start explaining the content. I know it looks quite silly, but it's actually really useful. Taking notes during lectures or practicals is also very important. At my university, we get all the slides after the lectures. So what my go-to method is for taking notes is simply listening and only writing down things that are not on the slides. 
after doing this, I noticed that my professors already tell a lot about what will be on the exam and how the content relates to other parts of the content. When typing notes, it is most convenient to do this in a list, so that when a new slide is presented, you can take notes for that specific slide. If you do this, it'll end up looking something like this. Another thing that has really helped me this year is watching YouTube videos on difficult topics. So for example, for medical courses or physics courses, I like to watch very short explanation videos to get a different view on the topic or get a visual overview of the material. These are some of my favorite YouTube channels that I like to watch. I'll link them in the description box below so you can check out their channels. A great way to test whether you are adequately prepared for your exam is by doing a practice test. For this, I sometimes get a practice test provided by the professor. At other times, I can find past exams online. But when doing this, it is very important to be aware of the fact that the content for the exam might have changed compared to your course. So a solution to this problem is making a practice test yourself. This year, I made practice exams for five courses with one of my friends. So what we would do is both make anywhere from 20 to 40 questions and send them to each other. This way we would still have a practice test. It's not only useful to be quizzed, but actually making a practice test yourself is a good way of interacting with the material. It also gives rise to the opportunity to discuss content when you have a different take on what should be the correct answer. So even though it takes some time to make your own test, it has really proven to be effective in my study process. Another method I applied during my exam week is doing a group study with two friends. So for this, we would meet up about three hours before the exam. We would go over all the material we would be quizzed on. We take turns on who is to explain the main points of the lecture or topic. The other two people can ask questions and add points they also believe to be important. It is a great way to check that you did not miss any topics or part of the content. And the opportunity to ask questions gives you the chance to add, get a better understanding of the material. The last thing I did is prioritize comfort over looks when studying. My most basic essentials right now are a comfortable outfit, so for me that's usually sweatpants and hoodie, a well-lit study place, my headphones for music, a nice cold drink, and some snacks. This way I feel at ease and I don't have to get up to get some food or switch seats because I'm getting a backache. I also like to take breaks when I feel like I need them. These breaks could be going outside for a walk, taking a nap, or going to play with my cat Milo. It's important to give yourself some time to gather your thoughts and get some new energy to fully focus on your studies. This concludes all of the things I did this year that helped me pass my first academic year cum laude. Let me know in the comments below whether you do any of these things in your routine as well. Thank you for watching this video and good luck with your study journey.